Hi everyone, this is the next development log of Volt laser synthesis and in this video I'm going to show you some few things I already made. Now first things first, I'm not probably not going to finish this uh, mod at uh, November so they will be a delay. I don't know how long will it take but since I'm learning two professions at the same time and I wake up at 5 a.m. It's, so it's quite busy but anyway you can see that I made uh, moving textures like this window frame that light up there are some tech walls that has like blinking lights and such. I also made moving floors which I'm planning to make even more because I think it looks cool and it gives off a uh, futuristic vibe. Not only, I also made these uh, door side which you know in the base game it shows which key you need for the doors but I also made them moving and there's two type of it right now you can also see I made switches now at first I accidentally placed them a little high you can see oops no clip is on you can see that it's higher than Dunga's head, so yeah. But what I did is, in original, this was a red uh, button. Now it's purple. Originally, this was red. Also, now it's cyan. This is from uh, Strife. This was originally green, now it's purple too. This is from Stripe 2. Looks uh, more uh, bluish. Now here are the levers from Doom, which I also colored in different colors, like purple, blue, and also brown. You can also see this switch from Strife it has now a red outline. Also, there are these exit switches from Strife 2, but you usually don't see them because in Strife you warp around the maps, so you don't uh, engage with switches to exit the level. So I thought it was a good idea to make uh, exit switches be a switch different from the others because I realized that from my megawatt or even other megawatts people mistakenly uh, hit switches that they don't know if it is a exit switch. So I decided to use this so every time people see it they will know that this is the exit. There are some transparent uh, fences, pages, and you can see these three are moving, not really seeable, so I might change it to make it more clear. There are also this purple and dark grey version of the original, and of course the cage walls but has now a line up and down this is from plutonia and i make it made it uh, gray because uh, i thought gray is more like synth wave than brown now the other thing i made a lot is doors now i thought that and I still think that I that I don't have enough doors for this mod, even though this is what I've got right now. 
uh, you can see there are some moving like this blinking or even this one you can see the green is uh, moving brightening up and down there are some variations of this door so they are grey you can see I change it to dark purple, cyan, yellow uh, and the texture which is just the wall wanted to put a cable in it anyway uh, I tried you know making it uh, piles and a step at the lowest point they are also different one like these also made some versions of these space doors There are some doors like this. Originally, I intended them to make to showcase that uh, which key you need for the door, but then I scrapped it because I thought this was a better idea. And then you can see there are the small doors. Yeah, this is moving too. And this is the turn off version. These are also trying to be a door. Uh, maybe I will use it for a warehouse door or something like that that you can open originally only by a switch. You can see I really like this space door. And I originally made a uh, fixed up version for Muhop and uh, I reused it and colored it differently so it would be a simple aesthetic you can see this is the original that uh, I fixed up kind of I also made different versions I really like this one it's without the green lighting up and there's the reversed version, I don't know how to say it, but you can see these parts are pushed in. So you can see it's like pushed in. Now the reverse is, you can see it's pushed out. So it's more bulky. I even plan to make more doors because uh, this might be not enough so I'm planning to make more doors of this height because you know it's more realistic on earth to have doors that are uh, the size of you but of course it's not that realistic in the sense that they open up not side to side but I think it's giving a futuristic vibe too And here are some showcase of the switches. It's pretty basic, obviously. There are just switches. You can push them and they go back to the idle because I choose to not make them permanently. see it's not still not finished but uh, I try to make it so you still can see the end of the road anyway I uh, polished it a little bit you can see that it's not a uh, stairs now the really easy answer is because this was in my dream and when I realized that if you are up high by a tower or like a really high building, going 
like few steps down won't make you go to a underground tunnel so I made this I will make it faster of course this was just what I originally put in but you can see I changed it a little bit more I'm not uh, planning to showcase much of the map and the reason is I want you, the player a fresh memory when you play it first but you can see that I use also bins or try to make bins that has moving parts as you can see it's moving And thank you for watching, I don't know when the next development log or the release date will be, but if I know I will make an announcement. Thank you for watching.